It's too confusing to this system. What is the excuse? Oh, what are you waiting for? Oh, like, oh, I want to know what is what is the excuse, guys? What is the excuse? You have like helper tools to help you pretty much like level up if you want to learn a particular tool. Nothing's really stopping you, right? Chat GPT to help you rewrite your SQL queries, guys. Like, this is just literally a time saver for me personally. Like, it can help you to write like SQL query from, um, so the, say from SQL to my SQL query syntax, from um, my SQL to even Google Pay query SQL as well to syntax. So, the amazing thing that Chat can literally help you to do is literally help you to rewrite queries, right? And I'm just gonna give like a very simple um, line of query to help me rewrite it, right? And probably just ask it to help me rewrite it using key spread function because with this whole um, server bracket in here, it could be sort of time consuming for you to know like where the bracket closes and the likes. Here's a very small query, but let's see how this can be done using key spread, right? Can you rewrite this? <laughs> oh my gosh, it even explains it to you to the T. If not taking advantage of this, I don't know why I'm saying for frankly speaking. I, I do not know. I, I, I do not know. I do not know, guys. I do not know. I do not know. And this literally in what in like seconds, in less than one minute. Like in what in seconds. <laughs> Very so beautiful guys so you don't take advantage of chat to 10x your productivity or your social media type please guys hurry 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 fast hurry fast because there's a lot of like gold mine in using this practice speaking like you save a lot of your time and then you're also able to understand the concept fairly easy and like really really good if you've been in this for a long time so this literally targeted for those who are already like it's analyst right i understand like the already existing functions like if you we're know, converted to case we're pretty much right but if you're new you may want to like start from scratch to understand what it is but if you're not um it also explains to you right pretty much right the third point is when it comes to code review and refactoring of queries right and um you, when you put in the code, it tells you like how to try to restructure the code. It also helps you to even rename the variables as well, to write. And um, the SQL performance to also watch out for like in terms of like the quirks and your code. Do you understand? So I remember when I spoke about how that as a data analyst, you actually have to learn how to debug your code, and it can take you like days. It can take you weeks, and I'll probably like put a video right now how i like explain so much about how it's actually an issue as data analyst if you do not have the patience because debugging and queuing is one thing you should have to do as data analyst like literally the bugs will bug you and sometimes it takes days it takes weeks to fix an sql query and sometimes you are even like you're not even like getting the expected outputs as you should or so for those who want to break this food i talk a lot about how that it can take you days it can take you weeks Ah, so you try to debug a particular SQL query, right? But ChatGPT seems to be doing a pretty good work helping to debug whatever query issue you may be having, right? And um, I put in a SQL query in here that yes, I tweaked it so that it's wrong, and then I would then ask it a question, right? So I would say um, in this particular query, in line number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12. Right? So in line number 12, there's an error. So error in line 11 and 12, I guess. This query. What does it tell us? The error in this line is what? The use of if no function. The if no function checks whether it values no and tells you please be value, right? That is it. It tells you replacement value if it's no. However, the function will be used in a way that does not make sense. <laughs> Since it does not make sense in this context. <laughs> if no function is to replace the null value, it's by value. Yes, you replace it replaces a null value with a specific value. However, in giving given lines, you are checking if the value is not null and then comparing zero. This means that it can show evaluate to true. 
if the value is not null and not equals to zero, right? As if rewriting the query wasn't enough, it literally helps you to also explain it. I am in total awe. I am in so much awe. Guys, if you've not been leveraging on chat I do not know what you're waiting for. Actually, if you're like pretty much you, this saves you a ton of stress. Pure joy in my face right now. Like, it's totally unmatched, guys. This, for me, like, what, what, this is, this just blows my mind, right? When I have to do this, because I'm like, what? What? Like, instead of using how to use Stack Overflow all the time, this is actually helping you do this in seconds. Guys, guys. <sighs> Anyways, another thing it can also help you to do is actually help you also put um, together. So, like, I think it's the fourth point right now. You also to put together a SQL query that will literally take you, like, let's say an hour, right? It's literally such a time saver when it comes to writing SQL queries, especially if you actually suck at SQL. Right? Okay. We have, like, um, a tool that actually helps us put this all together. So, I'm going to ask ChatGPT a question, right? So, I want to, I want to literally have a, um, What's the word now? Oh gosh. An imaginary database, right? So the database contains like three schemas. It contains the transaction, the purchases, and then the budget. I just brought them all together, right? And I'm just going to do it on ChatGPT. Put together an SQL query with these three schemas. Um, so I'm going to say, let me see this, right? Put, put it together. together an SQL query with an SQL query with these three schemas. In these three schemas, transaction purchases and budgets. Please find it actually imaginary. Transaction purchases and budgets. It even joins, okay? It joins transaction purchases and budget tables on a column, right? To retrieve information about transactions that are related to purchases and budget. It's very attentive and it explains to you what it does. It explains to me, it says that um, this query selects the transaction ID, transaction dates, purchase name, transaction amount, and budget amount from the transactions, purchase and budget tables, blah blah blah. <laughs> So yes, you're using a join, but question is I want to understand what type of join are you using? Are you using a left join? Are you using a right join? Are you using an outer join? Whatever join are you using, can you just tell me? So can you specify the join that was being used? And says, oh sure. The SQL query I provided is an inner join to join transactions, purchases and purchase tables. This specific join function are as follows. The transaction table is joined with the purchase table using the purchase ID. ID column, which is present in both tables, this creates a relationship between each transaction and its corresponding purchases, right? The purchases table is joined with the budget table using the budget ID column, which is present in both tables. This creates a relationship between each purchases and its corresponding budget. And then it rewrites that same, same table for me and uses um, the same join as well, so just like for me to understand how like inner join can control. So sometimes you can decide to like specify the type of join you need to that decides to use an inner join or just use join. Thank you, ChatGPT, for helping me do this very much, right? Then, I think I would lastly, the last thing that ChatGPT can actually help you do is, which is very good, is let's do this guy. Let's ask ChatGPT to plan the cost of. So, plan. So I want to have you to plan a course outline or study for me to learn SQL and work for data analytics and give me a quick breakdown as well to write. I want to help you do this. And let me see. So for one month, I'm probably new to SQL. Can you give me something like that? Sure, I can provide a course outline for you to learn SQL and work. Keep in mind that the amount of time and effort required to SQL would depend on your existing background. Right? And this one asks a question about how why is why I said that you can then data analytics in three months. So actually, it's actually because it depends on your background and experience, right? With same of this line, sure that's why. Um, and yet, it's telling you that we want introduction to SQL. You yeah. learn basic syntax like select from where, other by, data types, operators. Week two, it says intermediate SQL concepts, advanced SQL concepts, 
SQL for data analytics is just a general guide and you can adjust it based on your own learning needs and pace. You may also want to supplement your studies with online materials. Oh my gosh, for someone who is just starting out in data analytics, are you literally seeing this, guys? This is a solid response. Are you seeing this? I'm literally absolutely. So let me just even ask you to even like share some resources to this outline as well. So right, um, let's see. Yeah. It references the articles, it references articles, interactive tutorials, learning, learn SQL the hard way if you want to read it by using books, intermediate SQL concepts. W3 school is a good resource. Oh, guys, are you seeing this? YouTube videos, are you? I just see this, guys. In addition to resources, you may also want to explore online forums and communities such as Stack Overview, where you can ask and answer questions related to SQL and data analytics. Practice is also key to mastering SQL, so you may want to find it. <laughs> I am. Oh, I mean, there's no better time to start learning data analytics than now, guys. Like, do not wait. Like, this is so, so interesting. So, if you're still considering breaking into this field, what is the excuse? What are you waiting for? Like, I want to know what is what is the excuse, guys? What's the excuse? You have like helper tools to help you pretty much like level up if you want to learn a particular tool. Nothing is really stopping you, right? Nothing is stopping you. Literally, if you're looking for an answer, here's your answer. Here's your answer. You have the right. You have the right technology. Get started, right? And pretty much, you have no excuse. Last but not the least, let me just ask that you sit for a insightful project. website traffic, create a financial dashboard, guys, you the recommendation system, what, no. okay, 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 all right, so let me just add it to, please share, share links to this project, please, this project, data set, so sometimes I'm actually very kind, actually, you feel the word, please, right, let's see, sure, it starts with sure, is this sure, here are some sources where you can find this as a for project. Tech Haggle, good, data.gov. I've, I've given this a lot of time here. Google, Google Data Search, search as well to UCI Machine Learning Repository. AWS Public Data Set. Have you heard this? Have you heard this on my channel before? These are just a few sources where you can find this as a for SQL project. Good luck. So, guys, good luck, guys. With this, I'm actually signing out. So I think you should actually see chat as a helper rather than um, taking your job. And with this, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.